Hey, what's going on guys? Pyrex here, and welcome to Iron Man Mode. So if you're not aware, RuneScape has just made Iron Man Mode an official game mode. So you can go ahead and create a new account and set it to Iron Man Mode, as I'm doing in the video right now. Okay, let's jump right in here. This is probably going to be a new tutorial for me, since I haven't created an account since RS3 came out. So let's just see what happens here. So we got a dwarf. He's asking us something. Let's try to do this pretty quickly. Let's go. Alright. Oh, he's booking it. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing here? Oh, what's that? A zombie? Kill that. Oh, one shot, okay. Alright, what do we gotta do here? Mr. Dwarf, wait a minute. Oh, there's another zombie. Quick, kill it. Well, this one's taking a bit more. Die. Okay, there we go. Oh, two defense. Making the gains. Alright, so this is probably going to be a pretty boring tutorial, so I'll skip this and see you when I'm in the main world. Okay, and I'm back. So right away I went to fish in Catherby. That's where I am right now. And uh, I planned to get some shrimp just for uh, general training purposes and uh, to do the waterfall quest, which is going to be my main goal. So just getting my new interface all set up here while I catch those shrimps. So after I do the waterfall quest, I should have around 25 combat or so. And then I'll head over to Berthorp to get some free stuff from the tutors and training areas there. So depending on the feedback that I get from this series, if you guys tend to like it, then I will come out with a, a list of goals or tasks that I want to achieve uh, by doing this series. So that'll be anything from uh, obtaining full rune uh, to a thousand total level or one mil cash, all the way up to maybe uh, soloing a God Wars dungeon boss or even getting a drop from there. So let me know what you guys think and if you think this will be a good idea. So that's all my food done there, and I think it's time to get on to the questing and training. That last one there. I plan on doing this Death of Chivalry quest, which I think gives some nice cosmetic gear, which I can wear for skilling, and also gives a shield and some combat XP. Okay, that's Death of Chivalry done. We ended up getting a couple thousand coins in there as well on top of the XP that we're about to get. And I Okay, so now I'm just at the Varrock Museum turning in some strange rocks that I acquired during skilling. So this should give me quite a bit of XP. And beautiful. Level 15 cooking. Okay, next time I see you I will be starting Waterfall Quest. Okay, and here we are starting Waterfall Quest. I have my trusty shrimps with me. And let's go find the boy down the river. Get back to your mother. Okay, anyway, next time I see you, I will be finishing up Waterfall Quest. And welcome back. Luckily, I didn't get KO'd by the moss giants this time. So, let's just clear my inventory. Use the urn on the chalice. And boom. Give me that XP. 30 attack, 30 strength. Beautiful. Okay, and we're back on the grind in Berthorp. So basically here I'm just going around using all the uh, tutor spots, getting the free equipment, and uh, basically just training up my crafting, uh, fletching, woodcutting, and eventually mining and smithing, because I plan on doing the Night Sword quest eventually. To get uh, up to around 30 smithing, I think that gets you to. So since the, this is the first day, I'm being a bit competitive. So uh, after I get a few more levels here, I'll log out quick and show you what my ranking is at this time. Okay, so if you can see that here, right now I'm ranked 33rd in the world, which is kind of cool. Although there's probably only... 
maybe a thousand or more accounts active right now since uh, I guess people aren't quite waiting, waking up yet on this uh, holiday Monday. Probably won't be able to keep this rank of course because I work full time, but I will continue to work towards my own goals and uh, depending on the feedback like I mentioned I will make that task and goal list which I think will make for a very entertaining series. Okay, so I've now decided to get my mining and smithing up in order to do Knight Sword Quest. So I guess I only need um, uh, 10 mining to start the quest, but I do need the two iron bars. So I think I may stay here until I can uh, smith the iron bars, and then I'll go make the redberry pie and get that quest all done. Oh, so I've just found out that uh, iron bars are dropped by skeletons in the Lumbridge Catacombs, and they're labeled as uncommon. So I think I'll go do the Blood Pact quest, and uh, see if I can't get two iron bars quickly doing that. Okay, so I've just finished Blood Pact quest, and let's continue down into the catacombs to see if we can't get some iron bars. So I'll see you when we're down there. Okay, so that went surprisingly well. I ended up getting the two iron bars, as well as some other loot there. I uh, managed to get a staff of air, which is pretty nice, as well as a holy symbol, which I think I will need for um, animal magnetism to get the Ava's accumulator. So that will definitely help in the future, so I don't have to go make it myself. And for now, we can now continue on to the Knight's Sword. So I'll see you when we're in Falador. Ah, I forgot one step. I have to make the red berry pie first. So I'm here in Lumbridge, uh, putting my wheat in the hopper, and just operate the controls to grind my wheat, and head downstairs and grab my wheat. So I think I'm gonna make two just in case when the first one gets burnt, which has happened to me before and is such a pain. So I'll see you in a sec when I'm cooking my red berry pie. Okay, and moment of truth. Will it cook? Yes! It cooks successfully, so I don't need my other supplies. Alright, so I'll see you when I'm at uh, Thurgo. Alright, give me that sword, Thurgo. Alright, let's head to Faldor and turn in this quest. Okay, we're back at the White Knight Castle. Let's turn this sword into the squire. Let's chat with him. Skip, skip, there we go. Glorious smithing XP, and that gets us to level 29. So stay tuned for next episode, where I'll be focusing more on combat and slayer. So I'll be showing you the results of all my slayer tasks, and at the end of the video, I'll show you what I'm up to for coins. Okay, thanks for watching guys if you made it this far, and I'll end the episode here with the completion of Druidic Ritual. Getting that Herplor XP. So until next time, good luck and take care.